Hey tubers, welcome back for another adventure. So you're looking at the spot where the loading incident took place. I was loading the second hammerhead to go to um, up north and I was trying to align it on the ramps. So I gave it a, a little bit of a a pull and unfortunately as you could see from all the footprints and slippery <laughs> slide marks on the footprints I was kind of standing on ice and the next thing I knew I uh, stumbled into it luckily um, I did not fall down and break an arm or a leg or bruise any ribs or anything I kind of landed on my nose and uh, got it pretty good so that's the loading incident what I'm gonna do with this video I have some footage of um, of getting the hammerhead out of the buckwheat and the work uh, Royal Racing Tech did to the red hammerhead that I brought to his house already and some some other videos like that so I'm gonna kind of tack them all together um, the good thing about making small videos is you end up with some interesting footage. The bad thing about it is they don't necessarily all work together, but I'm going to string them together, take a look, let me know what you think. So, I'm not thinking this is going to go that well. The hammerhead seems to be glued right to the ground. So, we'll have to see. I'm also on snow with this thing. have to see how this whole thing works out, including, including the film work. Oh, oh, that worked out better than I thought. <laughs> see if I can't set this up so that you guys can see a little something. Kind of see the top of it. The ice and snow is helping. Better, a lot better than I thought it would. Calvin, see all the tracks? I'm gonna do a little less choke here. All right, I got it where I needed to be. Another remote shoot. Welcome. <laughs> We're visiting uh, Royal Racing Tech and we brought him a hammerhead. He did a good job on the hammerhead that I left him last week. He, uh, look at this thing. He's, he's got it to the point where it's all running. He went through the wire harness, took pieces of the new motor. He, re, he put the clutches into it. He got the output shaft on it. Did you have any trouble with that? I loosened the bearings. You could see I pushed them in a little bit, the, the bad ones. So 
had to uh, take a Dremel in on the output shaft and get the, that little ring off. All I did was put a little line into it and it came right off. Bing! Oh, oh. <laughs> Yeah, it looks it looks good. It looks good. You cleaned it up nice. Got it running again. I guess you're 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 fighting with some brake stuff. This one has a nice tight front end, right? Oh, not bad, not great. So, these things have this one and, and the other one are going to have a much better life. They're going to live indoors instead of outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> he cleaned up the seat. Top came out real good. Bottom's a little bit, um, a little faded. But look at that. Hammerhead number one. For my, well, for him it's number two. For me it's number one. Is here all, all done up. We got the skull for forward and reverse. Yeah, she looks good. Has your son driven it? Oh, yeah. Uh, he will. Well, with the, uh, you gotta love it. You got the four point. Yeah, I him up a bit, too. You throw a helmet on the kid, it'll be safe as could be. Yeah. You got enough lighting? <laughs> 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 I mean, what is this guy gonna do? <laughs> Light a runway for airplanes to land? <laughs> it, it lights up the whole block in the nighttime. Yeah. Yeah, it looks good. I'm, I'm, I'm glad this is uh, found a better home. <laughs> it's uh, getting much yeah. better treatment here. Yeah, we were we were talking. The problem is, you take two of these hammerheads, and they like fill my garage. They're they're just they're just a very big, big cart. Yeah, this one. Um, this one will do a little bit more work to it try to find some ties because those are eight inch and these are ten inch oh you want to shrink the back down a little bit yeah i want to make go down just a, a tad bit on, on the rear slightly wider what are those 25s 22 22 11, 11 10s. 10s yeah those those 10s on uh on both they both 10s front and rear yeah the backs are a little wider. Mine over here is uh, tens in the rear and mine's in the front. By the way, there was some um, discussion on this engine about how many horsepower. It hasn't been dyno tested, but it was built and then built again. And there was a racing guy from Australia, you were saying? Uh, New Zealand. New Zealand. Who, who actually did a bunch of the work to this thing so it's not a, it's far from a stock engine this uh, this thing is a go fast hang on type of machine <laughs>